Hey everyone, it's Anna. Thanks for visiting my channel. I uh, made a really cute card and thought I would share it with you and then thought I would show you how to make one yourself. So here's my little card. I used um, this stamp from Darcy's. It's this adorable little chicken and it's from uh, 1994. I don't know what the number is because it's covered up, but cute little thing. And then I also use this uh, sentiment on the inside. And this is also from 1994 from Annette Allen Watkins. So, cute little sentiment there. Um, this is from um, a booklet of um, typewriter scripts. It's uh, this book here called Small Talk. And um, so I just selected one of the um, sentiments from that booklet for the front of the card. And I used um, a heart die here to die cut the heart in the pattern paper. And then of course I colored the image with alcohol markers and did some ink blending in the background. So lots of faux stitching here as well. On the inside of the card is the sentiment and another little chick. Uh oh, I think that's really cute. And um, I did color that um, with alcohol markers as well. And then on the back side, because it kind of bled through a little bit, um, I just added a strip of the pattern paper here to cover up that and uh, stamped my little handmade by stamp. So I thought I would show you how to make a card like this. <clears throat> uh, so first of all, uh, you're going to want to select some pattern paper. I've selected this piece here. Um, I don't remember what pattern paper line this is from, though. Uh, but it's just a little dainty little um, fl uh, floral print. And then you're going to want to die cut a heart or punch out a heart uh, from the center. And this piece is about uh, four by four. So something about that size. And then uh, you're also going to want to find a mat for that. And so this one is cut just slightly larger. And it's a nice soft buttery yellow. And then you're also going to want a card base. So here's my square card base. And this card base is uh, four and a half by four and a half. Well, four and a half by nine. <laughs> but when I score it and fold it in half, it, the card will end up being four and a half by four and a half inches square. So once you've got those pieces, you can set those aside. And then um, you're going to need another piece of paper to stamp your image on. And... Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use the same little chicky here because it's just cute as can be. And what you're going to end up doing is putting your stamped image here on the white cardstock and then putting it behind your heart. So you want to kind of figure out um, approximately where to stamp the image so you have him, uh, your image peeking through your cutout area. So you don't want to necessarily stamp it right in the middle because you might have to trim it off. Um, so you might want to just kind of eyeball where it might be best to stamp that image. So I'm going to stamp him down in this lower corner. And uh, color him up. So just going to give that a quick um, stamp there. And it doesn't have to be stamped um, exactly in the right spot because you are going to be able to put this piece of paper over top of it wherever you'd like your um, image to be poking through. And you can see here if I was to position the chicken like this I would need to trim off my background paper here a little bit so it doesn't stick out from behind my pattern paper. Um, if I wanted to do a little bit more like a foot here <laughs> like this I would need to trim off this area here and so these uh, pieces wouldn't stick out from behind but we'll get to that shortly so let me go ahead and get this little guy colored and uh, I hope you've all enjoyed your weekend I um, I had a pretty quiet weekend here myself I had intended on coming on and doing a live video um, either Thursday or Friday, but I just did not get around to it. So maybe I'll be able to do one uh, later this week. So um, to start coloring my image, I'm going to start with Y uh, Y21. Oops, oops. 
And if you hear some noises in the background, Oliver's chewing on a bone. So I'm just gonna give this a quick color here. I think this image is so cute. Making little cards like this is quick and easy. Especially when you have just a cute little image like this to play with. And you could do, you know, you could do any kind of image peeking through a window like this. So there's Y21. I'm going to move on to uh, Y23. And just add a little bit more depth to the wings there and around the chick's face. And then I'm also going to use some Y23 for just a bit more depth in that color. And then this um, area is a little too bright white for me, so I'm going to actually pull out my um, YR0000 and just kind of knock back that white a little bit. So it's, it's still fairly light, but it's not stark white. Okay, now I'm also going to add some um, YR24 to this color, colored image as well, just for a little bit more detail. <laughs> and the little chick's armpits. <laughs> wing pits. Cute. Give his beak a little bit of this color as well. I'm going to end up coloring it with a brown, um, but I'd like a bit of this yellow, yellowish brown showing through as well. Then to color his um, legs and feet and beak, I'm going to use uh, E34. Those a quick bit of color there. And then I'm also going to use um, E35. Just like that. And then I'm going to go over um, his little wing pits with. Um, Y32 again, just to kind of um, reduce the contrast between that, um, what was that, YR24, yeah, um, that I added here to his little wing pits. So there, I think that's real cute. And now I'm going to add pink um, to the heart and to his little cheeks, and I'm going to do that using um, R20. There's that, and then I'm going to add a little bit of R22, oops, I almost knocked over my drink, um, to the heart as well. There we go, cute as can be. All right, so I'm going to move those off to the side. Uh, now I want to um, actually add some uh, blending here in the background, so I'm going to uh, grab some distress inks, I think. Um, actually, I think I'm going to use the same two I used previously, uh, which were these two from Impression Obsession. Um, this one is the Sea Glass, and this one is Ocean. So I'm just going to use these same two that I used before. And I have a blue uh, blending brush. So now what I want to do is kind of figure out where my chick is going to be placed. So I kind of like that. And then I can kind of get an idea of where I want to have that blue ink come in. So I've inked up the brush um, just lightly here and I'm making sure to start slightly off the page. Um,
giving that a quick blend of ink. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of uh, the ocean color as well, just for a little bit of variation. aside <clears throat> so now I can actually figure out where to place my chick I'm liking him right about there so I'm gonna actually make his make sure his feet don't show That's cute. So I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna hold him in place and flip this over. And now I need to um, ensure that this stays where I want it to so it doesn't shift on me. So I'm just gonna grab some washi tape. Um, scotch tape would be fine as well. I just don't have it handy. Um, and I'm gonna tape this down here. And I'm gonna tape it down on a couple of corners that are um, well behind my pattern paper as well. All right, so now I have a couple of sides that I need to give a quick snip with some scissors just so they don't stick out from behind my pattern paper here. I'm just gonna flip it over. Make sure I don't actually cut my pattern paper, that'd be terrible. Give those a quick snip and now my uh, background layer doesn't stick out from behind my um, front layer. I'll go ahead and put a little bit more washi tape down here. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. So now what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and adhere this down to my yellow panel and then I can add some faux stitching and uh, we're well on our way to having almost a finished card here. So let me get my tracing wheel and my glue. And I'm gonna put a little bit of glue up under this point of this heart here, just so this stays nice and adhered down. Oh, here we go. Now I'm going to go, go ahead and adhere this down to my card. I probably should um, adhere that um, stamped panel to um, the back of the uh, card stock, but there are the uh, printed paper, but I'm not going to worry about that today. It'll be just fine. So there we go. Make sure it's nice and centered. And then I'm gonna use my tracing wheel here to add some faux stitching around the outside edges. And then I liked um, the little back and forth craziness that I added to this one. So I'm gonna do the same thing to this card as well. Just to give it some character here. There's not a lot going on on this card, so. <laughs> this will add just a little bit of fun detail. All right, that's probably chewed up enough. So now I can go ahead and adhere this to my card front. And then I can get started on the inside. So 
go ahead and place that down. Isn't that little chick just the cutest? I think I got some blue ink over his head. I think I will see about I got a little carried away with my inking, I think. <laughs> hey, we can't all be um, perfect. So. Let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment on the inside. I'm going to use this cute one again. Have a candy egg Easter and jelly bean spring. I think that's so cute. So ink that up and then stamp it down. All right, and then I'm gonna stamp one of the little chicks on the inside as well. And I don't really need to ink up his feet um, since I'm gonna stamp him off the uh, side of the card there. So I'll make sure to get most of his face. <laughs> he is so cute. And then I'm going to give this a quick color as well with the same colors. Um, so I'm going to start off with this YR0000, just since I had to use it um, on the one on the front as well. So I might as well just start with this one. Okay. And I didn't let that ink dry, so I'm trying to be careful with that really super light um, marker. <clears throat> so very cute. He reminds me of a High Hopes drawing. And then next is uh, Y23. And then um, I'm going to color his beak. Uh, with the same E34. I'll give his little toe a little bit of brown as well. And then finishing off that beak with E35. Okay, cute, cute. And now you can see how that uh, marker bleeds just a little bit through my cardstock. And uh, so I'm gonna do the same thing I did on my previous one, which was add just that little strip of patterned paper, and that will uh, cover up that bleed through there, make it like it never happened, and uh, then we'll be finished. And then I'm gonna put this on here so that I can snip off both ends here. So there's that. I've got a couple little snips here I can make. And then I'll go ahead and stamp my, um, my uh, handmade by stamp. This is just an image here with some uh, pencils in a coffee cup type of a situation and a couple of stamps there. And then I'm going to sign my name. And we are all done. Oh, I need to give my um, little piece here a little bit of faux stitching. I always like to make sure I do things consistently on all sides. Now it's done. So, oh, I need a sentiment. 
why don't I go ahead and choose one of these here. Um, these are from the metallic sticker collection from the uh, quotations line uh, from Ideology. And I think I'll just go ahead and choose, um, let's see. I'll just use Hello Friend. And I don't find that these are very, very sticky, so I like to add a little bit of adhesive um, just to make sure they stick down nicely. I think I'll put it right about there. And what I'm going to do is actually put my adhesive on my card instead of putting it on the back of my sticker. I have a tendency of dropping these stickers. <laughs> so if I put the adhesive on the card instead of the sticker, then you know, I don't run the risk of dropping it right on the middle of my card and getting glue all over. There we go. Hello, friend. So there are my two cards, really quick and easy, and I think they turn out so fun. So, and here's the insides. Oh, I need to give him a little bit of pink on his cheeks. Let me do that. That just livens them up a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Now he's looking a little more alive. <laughs> so really fun. Um, hope you enjoyed and maybe you uh, are inspired to make a couple little 4x4 four four cards. You Instead of using a um, heart um, die or a heart punch, you could just use a circle um, or an oval. That'd be cute as well. So Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have uh, enjoyed your weekend. And until we chat again, take care. Bye.